Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Arash Ahadzadeh and this is the Market Redesign series. In the sixth episode, we have redesigned the YouTube homepage with light mode and dark mode. And today, we're gonna continue with the video page. Before we go on, please hit the subscribe button so you will never miss out on our inspiring tutorials. Market just released several new components in the built-in widgets including audio, video, polygon, star, QR code, and so on. So in this video, let's see how we redesign the YouTube video page quickly with the video component and improve the interface and usability. Alright, this is the home page of the YouTube app that we redesigned in the sixth episode. Now, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this screen, there we go, and let me call it player. Since we are going to redesign the detail or let's say player screen. Now, I'm going to remove the elements that are not necessary for this screen, such as this logo, these icons, and also this profile image, and the search bar, all these tags, and also the tab bar is not needed for this screen. And finally, let me remove this second post, okay? I'm going to keep this card only here. Now, let me move it up. For the player screen, I'm going to enlarge this white card, okay, as a container. And then the video player is going to be on top of that. So let me select this white card and modify its width and height to 390 and 346. There we go. Let me move it up. I'm going to put it right over there. And finally, I'm going to set the corner radius amount of these two top corners to zero. Okay, right here. Great. And the last thing I'm going to do here is select this card and move it and put it below the status bar. Just like that. Great. So now it's time to work on the player. I'm going to remove this image. I don't need that. This time indicator as well. All right. What do I need here? Here I'm going to use one of the newest features of Wondershare Market, which is the video component. So if I head over to the resources from the libraries, I can scroll down. And as you can see, we have the video component. If I just drag and drop it into my artboard, there we go. We have a video player. So let me adjust its dimension slightly. I'm going to set its width to 342 and it's high to 220 just like that let me align it horizontally and finally I'm gonna make it rounded so let me increase the corner radius amount to 20 all right and I'm gonna move it down a little bit all right cool our player is ready as well now let me zoom in I'm gonna select this group let's move it to the left side and I'm gonna set its left margin to 24 pixels just like that. All right, our top part is ready. But before moving on to the next part, let me show you how this video component works. Well, if you select that on the right side in the inspector, you can see that there is a section called video. And here we have a text field that we can paste our URL in. So I'm going to go ahead and paste a URL here. For instance, you can go to YouTube and copy a URL if you want. If you have your own channel, you can use your video's URLs. And here we have different options. For example, we have autoplay, we have loop, we have mute, we have hide controls. As you can see, if I check the hide controls, I can hide all the controls here. But for this prototype, I'm not going to check any of these checkboxes. So now our video component is ready. Let's move on to the next part. Right under this video player, I'm going to place some elements. I'm going to place three different icons, the like, the dislike, and the share icons. And finally, a subscribe button on the right side. So let's start with the icons. So I'm going to uh, drag and drop an image view into my artboard. And let me modify its dimension to 24 by 24 pixels, just like that. And now if I go to library, I can go to icons. And from here, I'm going to choose like. There we go. Now let me duplicate it, move it to the right side. And let me modify this icon to dislike. And finally, I'm going to duplicate it once again and modify this icon to the share icon. 
there we go. So our three icons are here. Let me adjust the margin between them just like that. Our right, the left margin is going to be 24 pixels and the top margin is going to be 24 pixels as well. There we go. Now what else do we need? As I mentioned before, on the right side, I'm going to place a subscribe button. So let's create a button using a rectangle. I'm going to choose the rectangle tool and let's click and drag to draw a rectangle. Then I'm going to modify the dimension. The height is going to be 44 pixels and the width is going to be 127. I'm going to uncheck the stroke and also let's make it rounded. Let's set the corner radius amount to 10 pixels just like that and I'm going to use the red accent color for YouTube okay there we go now we need a text layer I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and here let's write subscribe let me make it white and I'm going to modify the font to Roboto I'm going to align it both horizontally and vertically and our button is ready. Its right margin is going to be 24 pixels and its top margin is going to be 16 pixels. All right, this section is ready as well. Now I'm going to need a divider. For our divider, I'm going to use a straight line. So let me draw a straight line here, just like that. And I'm going to set the width to 342 pixels. And let me align it horizontally and finally I'm gonna modify the opacity a little bit so let's set the alpha amount to 50% there we go and its top margin is gonna be 24 pixels great so what else do we need for here here right under this divider we are gonna present the recommended videos okay so we need to have different cards with different videos and in order to keep our user interface consistent I'm gonna go to home and from here I'm gonna choose for example this video this second card and copy it and let's paste it here move it down there we go let me align it horizontally I'm gonna duplicate it but before that let me go ahead and select my artboard and increase the height of my artboard a little bit. All right, I think it's enough. Now let me enlarge my background. It's luck, I'm gonna unlock that and increase the height of my background as well. And finally, I'm gonna select my home indicator and move it down, just like that. Let me select this card, duplicate it, move it down. I'm gonna zoom in and the margin is gonna be 16 pixels here. There we go. Now let me go ahead and modify the content of the second card here quickly. All right, great. Our player screen is ready as well. So now let me go ahead and preview it and see how this video component works. There we go. Now we have the YouTube player here. And if I click on that, the video plays. Can you see how amazing it is? I can scroll down to see the other card as well. That's fantastic. However, here we have an issue. As you can see at the top, we have this additional part. Can you see that? If I scroll down, we can see this problem. So let's go ahead and fix this issue. If you select your artboard, on the right side, you can see that there is a section called fixed slider, okay? And here we have the top fixed slider and the bottom fixed slider. I'm gonna set the top fixed slider to zero and then let's preview that once again and there we go we don't have any issues now and I can easily scroll down all right but what else can we do to make this page even better well we can add some animations to our elements so I'm gonna go ahead and select this card and then on the right side under the animation section I'm gonna set the animation to fade in the delay is gonna be zero for the second card, I'm going to set it to fade in. However, this time the delay is going to be 200 milliseconds. Now let's see how it works. Fantastic. Did you see that animation? Let me check it out once again. Great. Although our player page is ready, it's not connected to the home page. So let's go ahead and quickly connect these two screens together. I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to choose this first post. And using this Thunderbolt icon, I'm going to connect these two pages together, just like that. Now, if I preview that, here is our home page. I'm going to click on this first post. And there we go. Here is our player screen. All right, we are done. 
except we aren't. In our sixth episode, when we designed our home page, we didn't only design the light mode, we also designed the dark mode. So if I just preview this home page once again, and I click on this moon icon, you can see that we have the dark mode as well. However, we don't have the dark mode version for our player. So let's quickly go ahead and create one. I'm gonna select my player screen and let me duplicate that. There we go. And let's rename it to player dark. All right, I'm gonna start with the background. So let me select the background and quickly modify the background's color to my dark gray color. Okay, now let's modify the color of our cards. So I'm gonna select all these white cards and modify their color to a light gray. Okay, great. Now it's time to modify the color of our status bar to white as well, since we are working on dark mode and also the home indicator. I'm gonna set it to white. And finally, we need to modify the color of our text layers. As you can see, they are not readable. So for the titles, I'm gonna use white. So let me select all of them and I'm gonna change their color to white. And for other text layers, I'm gonna use white, however, with 50% opacity. So let me modify the color to white. So let me go ahead and do the same thing for other layers. All right, our dark mode is ready as well. So let me go to home page. And from here, I'm gonna go to the state section. And from here, I'm gonna go to state two, which is dark mode. And then let's select this first post and try to connect it with the player dark screen that we just created. And now if I just go to state one and I try to preview this prototype, let's see how it works. I'm gonna click on that. There we go, the light mode works perfectly. And now I'm gonna go to home page and let's switch to dark mode for a second. And I'm gonna click on this first post and here it is. Our dark mode player is ready and it's working perfectly. All right, now I'm gonna show you one more thing. If I go to the dashboard and if I click on the create button here, you can see that the design tool has been added to this section and it's an amazing tool for UI designers. If I click on that, I can create a new design file and just like Figma and Sketch, you can design amazing user interfaces here. So let me quickly show you how it works. If you wanna create an artboard, you can press A on your keyboard and you can choose one of the pre-built artboards from here, just like that. And you can add shapes. And also, if you wanna work with gradients, you can use gradients here as well, because in a prototype, you couldn't use gradients. However, using this design tool, you can create linear and radial gradients easily. Let me show you how it works. I'm gonna select my first color and the second color, just like that. Here at the top we have Boolean operations and also you can create symbols to accelerate your design process and so much more. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to go ahead and give it a try. So this is all for the YouTube redesign. I hope this tutorial works for you. If you have any ideas for our redesign series, please feel free to leave your comment below. Thanks for watching and if you like this tutorial, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I'm Arash and I see you in the next episode. Bye bye.